Matthew just got here. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone was fighting for his seat. Yeah, you as a bat. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the show started. Another Check great day of now. entertainment. JC. <laughs> I'm wore out. I gotta take a weekend <laughs> off here. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. As you know, this is Athens in the AM on a Friday morning edition. We are so blessed today to have Barry Kay with us. Hey, Barry, I've seen you all year. I uh, know it's been a while. He is. And I, yeah, go ahead. I. Uh, I would say I brought my band, but I'm actually part of Lindsay's band. <laughs> Lindsay Huggins. Good morning, Lindsay. Good to have you in here. Fresh from Branson, Missouri. She's going to be playing next week at Soul Stock. We'll talk about that. Philip Presley said he may even stop by. I don't know if he will or not. But join us today. Could be a version of the Three Stooges. It certainly ain't the Three Wise Band. <laughs> but there he is Matthew, Mark, and then now, Tom. I never found your name in the Bible. Well, well Thomas, 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 Thomas. Doubting Thomas. Doubting Thomas. Doubting yeah. Thomas. Yeah, that's in there. Yeah. That's me. Tom, yeah. yeah. Tom's exotic house of photography will be on. On display yep. today too. He's kind of redeemed himself though, Matthew. Is that right? Yes. I've been able to see. Oh, there's his famous photo right there. There's Tom's accidental selfie. So he's got his little boy in here this morning to teach him how properly to take a photograph. Mark, you got some big news you're going to talk to us about today? I do. I do. You brought your buddy Craig Styles in here, the new PR man. That's right. Speaking of Philip Presley, I just mentioned he was going. He's bringing free tickets to Soul Stop. <laughs> we'll talk with Philip in just a little bit, too. It's a free big, big about 20000 <laughs> So Hey, good article to Decatur Daily today, too, about the soul stock. All right, that's what's coming up today. Plus, you know me, I got some stuff. Zach, the draft, you didn't get drafted last night, did you, Zach? No, I told you, at, at my 40 time went down, so they, they didn't pick me. You going to be disappointed if AJ don't go today? I think he'll go second or third round, so he should go today. <laughs> Well, I don't go too far out on Liam there, Zach. Cyrus Quanjo lost millions of dollars by not going last night, so he should have stayed. Well, I've lost millions of dollars in my day, too, but yeah. he wasn't being drafted. This portion of the show brought to you by Hometown <laughs> Market. Five locations, one near you. Go by and visit them today. <clears throat> Bye. Christian CD we got CD. right here. We'll talk more about it. We're going to hear them sing in just a moment also. Let's get this party started on this Friday morning. going to rain today, ain't it? It is going to rain. It is 71 degrees out there. It feels quite nice. Don't complain about it being too hot. We've waited a long time for the summer to get here in spring. How about that? All right, high temperatures today. Not going to get much warmer. We've got 75 for that high, I guess, with that rain moving on in. Around 9 o'clock, we're up to 40% chance of rain. So we've got a pretty much a 70% chance. Most of us will definitely see some rain today. Again, high temperatures 75, low of 65. Just keeping. Keep aware, just in case there's some severe thunderstorms today. High temperatures tomorrow of 80. We do have rain in the forecast yet again, but it looks like Sunday may be the day we can get through. Maybe a little rain in the morning. Things will clear out. 83 for your high. Monday, 84 for that high. Look at those temperatures sticking around in the 80s and then cools off toward the end. And the winner of today's question, Mark, will win this pet rabbit. Uh, not pet rabbit. Pet rabbit. Chocolate rabbit. rabbit I've been saving since Easter. <laughs> Yesterday, rabbit. we had a $300,000 Corvette out front. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today we got Barry's electric car parked out front. <laughs> no so doubt. we'll we'll give so you a layout question. show to huh? What's, so what's the question? The question? Oh, I ain't got that yet. I'll okay. come up with something here later on this morning. That. But anyway, Mark, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Right. good. Real estate business good? Great. Very good. Very if you, good. If you need any professional pictures taken, right there, Tom, he's been He's never gonna live that day. Real estate and insurance, he's been taking plenty of folks, you know, lately with Yeah, them. I'm gonna take some pictures of these flowers too before I leave. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, those, 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 yeah, those are yeah, those nice. are pranks over there. So, so uh, sweet to me. Matthew, your advertising works well for you, the money you invest with this program, doesn't it? It does, it yeah. does. Sir. Yours? I, I feel like it does, too. Thank you. Good. Because <laughs> uh, everything's going up here. Did you hear what I did? Is that a lead no. into something? <laughs> uh, the National Guard spent $23 million to sponsor NASCAR, car racing. Oh wow. Gosh. They signed up, I think, one person of that. Just one. Well, wow. and then it says another article following up today in USA Today says they signed up 3% of what they had hoped to. They say, It says here only 10% of the people they need to reach watch NASCAR. It's boring. They ain't trying to list you. They're it's trying to list 18 boring. to 23 year olds. Now, well, well, how do you say it was boring? This past weekend, we got to watch 188 laps of Talladega. No, we didn't waste our time watching that boring thing. <laughs> what? We didn't waste our time watching that boring thing. You may have. All right. I want to talk about they He's rested. Some, do what? He's over that. 
Moving well, on. It's pretty good. <laughs> done with that story now. I watched Kentucky Derby Saturday. I want to see what Michael, what, what's his name? Weir? Johnny Weir. Johnny Weir. The, the guy, the, the flamboyant so guy out there who was telling what they were showing. That he wore a big hat and everything. That's the only reason I watched it, see what he was going to do. It was a funny story. It was good, though. To the they did a good job of that. Was Real good See job. what kind of hat he had on, huh? Yeah. He had one on. <laughs> he had one on, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mark, you may be... Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you something here, Mark. Make you feel good about yourself. Since you may you absolutely be the healthiest one amongst us up here today. You know why? I don't know. No, I don't. You're married. You used to be. You're married. I've been married several, several times. All right. Frank, you could be healthy too. Zach, you may be the healthiest one of the bunch. I don't know about that. Because really, you yeah. can be nagged to death. Excessive demands from your partner can double risk of dying during middle age. I better start nagging you. Survey says <laughs> constant moaning can weaken the body's immune system. Men particularly at risk, they don't tell friends about the problems. People nagged by their wives are more likely to get heart disease and cancer. Mm. It's a warning for any man who feels he's being constantly nagged by his wife. Or his neighbors. Well, there you go, Tom. I'm going downhill already. You're the nagger in the family. You wow. complain constantly. I don't ever complain. What? I just put up with everyone around me. What on earth have I got to complain about? That's what we all tell you. Yeah. yeah. Still complain. <laughs> <laughs> got to give a shout out to my buddy down at church, Sonny Schofield, sent me a thing the other day about complaining, he Philip. He said you better stop it. Yeah. Huh? He See, Philip will see. be complaining next week if it rains a whole lot and he don't have over 30,000 at that event. He'll complain because he knows he'll have a crowd rain or something. Huh? He'll have a crowd. Anyway, Mark, yes. if you are single, you got your, you should be in better shape. Mm -hmm. You got a better chance of dying a heart disease. What? You talk, <laughs> agree with are, that. are you talking about pocketbook or hell? <laughs> All the way around? <laughs> you know. Matthew? I don't have any comments about that. I don't feel nagged to death. So He's got a nice look. So you're pretty happy. He I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy. He knows yeah. to take the fifth on Yeah, that. okay. No, he really is happy. You've met Ann. Who? <laughs> <laughs> good one, good one. There you go. So. Oh, uh, Tom? Yes, sir. No comment. <laughs> no. Yeah, but anyway. It just says you got to get out and talk to somebody about all this that's going on, well, you know? Well, you know there's only two kind of men. What? Either henpecked or liars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this weekend's a big indicator, big weekend indicator that dragon race goes on rain or shine. I can't believe y'all aren't in that bar, Mac Real Estate. The number one real estate company in this part of the country is not rowing out there as good a shape There's as you're There's only in. so many bodies that we can get to do so many things. You know, now, we just this, finished the Mardi Gras. This yeah. looked like Shane's that out of his alley as healthy as he says he is. That boat's way too low to the water. You know, this is a big deal. They have thousands of people yeah, turn out for that. That's great. A, I've been there. It's, that is a great fundraiser down there. Moe's Barbecue opened yeah. yesterday, they Indicator. Did. did you make it over? I did not. Why don't you ever invite me over for lunch? See, there he goes complaining again. Yeah, there he goes. Well, you know, if you want to get in the car and ride down the road, eat a hamburger going down the road, that's what I usually end up with. <laughs> take, me, <laughs> take me over to, uh, what's my favorite hamburger place? Pins. Pins, yeah. See you now. Matthew, let's buy that. <laughs> What's the going rate for pins these days? <laughs> quarter. A quarter. Sure I think we can do it. That, aren't they? What? Aren't they more than that? That's kind of like going to the doctor for your annual ch annual checkup. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody ever go at least once a year for it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? All right, let me regroup here this morning. We now got we some, uh, made somebody mad because there's a lot of people that like pin hamburgers. Oh, I love pins. They're good, good. yeah. Nice Smith over in Bowling Handle. Actually, I like Nice Smith the most. Do you get over that way? Well, my, my doctor's over there, and I go do my physical, and uh, my cholesterol's high and all this. I hope you but go there after you go to the doctor. I do. I, I go there. That's, that, that's my stop on the way back to the cave. Yeah. Those are good. If you can get them out to the car and pull a sack, the bottle falls out there. That's for me. No, and Dub's here in Athens, Tom. You probably eat there all the time. Uh, I eat there some. Yeah. I haven't eaten there since like we've been living too. over here. Bunch huh? of healthy specimens up here this like morning. It. Now that we've entered, enlightened y'all and all the good things going around, Earlier this week, I demonstrated, Matthew, how to properly pour these into a Coke and enjoy it. You ever done that? <laughs> um, no, I personally haven't. Sorry. He's, Come on. He's I'm sorry. He, yeah, he's Mark too young. Yeah, yeah. But, but really the way to do it is put them in the sun drop. They're better in the sun drop. 
Oh. <laughs> you just snort. Well, that's because like she's not from around these parts. No Yankees. Right. <laughs> Yankees. From around here. Y'all ready to sing one? <laughs> Let me take my first break on a Friday. Y'all need to uh, get in touch with us. 603-4848. I'm tired of giving my number out. Huh? Give your number out. A lot of stuff going on. We're going to talk. One, one, two, three. <laughs> We're going to talk about soul stock in just a little bit too. So y'all, this young lady is going to be performing there sometime Crazy. over the next weekend. But right now she's. Hey, she's ready. This is the only place in America where you can be on live TV at six o'clock in the morning with a living legend. In Athens, <laughs> next door. Let's to go the local way. and love it, y'all. Hang on. When I stop to think about the love that I can't live without, Lord, I'm just amazed. Then I think, how could it be? You have been so good to me. It also means. Shit! 